Wellness Wednesday is brought to you by Adventist Health. It is time to head up to the kitchen. We are talking healthy living, and we've got Priscilla Madrano with us from Kern County Edible Schoolyard, a program of the Grimm Family Education Foundation. And we were just talking, Priscilla, about yummy treats that are healthy, and we're talking about a spring roll today. Yeah, so this would be an excellent um, snack to have um, that's healthy and filling and nutritious. So let's start on our ingredients. Okay, so our first thing is going to be our rice paper. Um, it's available everywhere now at your grocery stores. Um, so we're going to start with that. We're going to have our rice paper soak in some warm water. Five, four, three, two, one. Just like that. You see it's not very pliable right now, but as it sits, it will start to become pliable. And we don't want to get it too wet because otherwise it'll be a little too mushy to work with. Um, so we have our veggies already prepared. Um, as you can see, we have some jicama, which we have julienned. We have some carrots, which we have julienned as well. We have some cucumber, and we have some, um, some cabbage. And we have some herbs, because herbs are a crucial component to, um, to this rice paper roll. All right, so we're going to start with our jicama, which our jicama is a root vegetable. It is very crunchy and delicious. We have our carrot, all right, which I want to lay down. Um, you don't have to keep it like centered because you'll see the way I'm going to roll it right now. We have our cucumber, and again, if you like other vegetables, you can add whatever vegetables you like, but these vegetables are nice and crunchy and good raw. All right, we have our cabbage. We put a little more cabbage. If you want to use purple cabbage, you can use purple cabbage. I'm going to sprinkle in some cilantro. I really like herbs in my spring roll. And the cilantro gives it a little bit of a kick. It does. And we have some chives. If you wanted to add a protein to it, you could add some shrimp to it, already cooked. <laughs> All right, so now here's the rolling part. All right, so I'm going to... This is a part that I always uh, have a little bit of a problem with when I make any type of like an egg roll or spring roll. <laughs> it takes some practice, so you'll see, we'll see how this one comes out. So I'm going to grab it from right here. I'm going to start to roll it. Then I'm going to tuck in the edges and continue to roll. Make sure to pull on it so it's nice and tight. All right, and there is our spring roll. What's even better, you get to see all the ingredients inside, whereas some of the like egg rolls that I've done in the past, when I've done it the not-so-healthy way of uh, frying them in a pan, mm -hmm. you can't see all the great things inside. And so this was kind of cool that, you, that we went to rice paper, then we can cut out all those, you know, fatty oils. Yeah. So it's, a, again, a really good snack. Um, if you want to add some avocado to it, that'd be good as well. We have our creamy Asian um, sauce to dip it with. Um, the recipe is also going to be on the website. It's a really nice alternative to a peanut sauce if you have an allergy or and have a loved one who has an allergy. And again, all these ingredients that you're using pretty much come from the garden, correct? That is correct, except for the cucumber because it's not in season right now. And you guys actually do the jicama? Um, not the jicama either. Oh, okay. I was like, wow, I've never yeah. seen jicama grow here, but because I have a hard time even trying to find it, or I have to look for the name, and it's one of my favorites because yeah. it's got that crunch, it's kind of got a sweet flavor to yeah. it, um, and it's super, super healthy. It is. It is readily available at like a, like a Hispanic grocery store as well. Perfect. And yeah. then you guys also have something coming up. It's a plant sale, and that's also going to be coming up on April 10th. April 10th. And people can get more information on that at your website, esykerncounty.org. Yeah. And that's a big thing for you guys. It is. It's our biggest fundraiser of the year. Um, get your, um, your slots booked ASAP because it will fill up. Perfect. Uh, we thank you so much. This is a great recipe for the kids, but not just for the kids. I'm going to try this myself. I'm going to throw the old style of deep fry and go yeah. to the more healthy Try side this things. new one, Kevin. You're going to love it. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.